Anyway, I promised you a uh, cello video, and uh, I haven't done any cellos in a while. I'm still, I'm trying to figure out how to film this. Um, this is a Paititi cello, P-A-I-T-I-T-I. And um, the reason why I haven't been doing cellos lately is they're getting harder to find, shipping's getting more dis difficult. It's hard to find them at a margin that you can resell them, fix them up and resell them. Um, so I tend to be buying less of them. It's one of my favorite things to work on. Um, so I, I want to keep finding them. Um, these are Chinese cellos, of course, but they're, they're nicely done. Uh, the, what I look for in a cello is you know, a full spruce top, a proper maple back and sides. This one's just plain maple, not uh, um, flame maple or anything, which is, makes it a student cello. But it's good quality. It's properly purfled. In, in other way, words, the edging is uh, properly inlaid. It's not painted on. Um, the fittings, the uh, tailpiece, and the fr and the fingerboard, and the pegs at the top are real ebony. Uh, with a lot of um, cheap cellos, you'll find that they put any old hardwood on these parts and they paint them back, black, sorry, and they call it ebonized. It's nothing to do with ebony. It's a, it's a, a, a con, it's a trick. And the problem with a fingerboard that isn't ebony is, it, is if it's any lesser density than ebony, it's liable to warp. Ebony is what you need. The only other fingerboard on a cello that... Um, is halfway decent is uh, perhaps a rock maple fingerboard but even those will warp over time or one of these newfangled very expensive carbon fiber uh, jobs but uh, you want ebony if you can find it uh, this is a good student cello I'm selling it for about 400 450 comes with a, um, a Brazil wood bow ebony frog um, real horsehair and uh, with a good setup, I had to do a lot of setup with the bridge, it sounds decent. <laughs> on the cello but um, there is a the type of cello I like to find and set up I really like cellos when they have the proper parts um, I'm not comfortable selling anything that doesn't have real ebony and even solid woods uh, so this is a Paititi cello this is a uh, this is their avant-garde series I'm not sure why they call it that it's just a student cello um, it has a model number I'll put it in the description uh, but this is the first cello on my on my video channel, uh, the first one I've set up in a while. I've got a couple of them, slightly different finishes, so when I set up the other one I'll, I'll do that on a video as well. And I'll figure out how to set the camera up to get you the best angles and everything uh, on the next one. See you next time. Ciao.